about five years ago, I, d uh, I noticed that uh, I started getting short of breath, uh, climbing stairs, climbing hills. Uh, so I went to a pulmonary doctor. Uh, they did pulmonary tests on me and found out that I have uh, pulmonary fibrosis. Uh, I also had a heart murmur. About uh, oh, three or four months ago, I went to a sleep study class and had a heart attack. I had been told by a cardiologist before that there was nothing they could do for me for my heart because uh, I just couldn't take open heart surgery or any operations like that. Mr. O'Keefe uh, had a slightly different set of, uh, of contraindications to surgery. He had bad lungs from a industrial, long industrial exposure and uh, was oxygen dependent. And uh, it was felt that uh, a surgical operation in him would uh, probably commit him to being on a ventilator for the remainder of his life, which is usually not an acceptable outcome, either from the medical profession or from the patient's perspective. On the 18th of June, I had my appointment. I went to Dartmouth the night before at well, about one o'clock in the afternoon on the 18th, they put me into surgery and did my procedure. He also did, uh, did very, very well. Uh, although we had concerns about the ability of his lungs to uh, uh, allow him to come off the breathing machine early on, he did exactly that. It was like, like, I, had, it was like I put a new life into me. Uh, as, as soon as I started walking around, I knew there was a difference in uh, what it was. When I saw him back in follow-up, he was uh, on about a quarter of the amount of supplemental oxygen that he had been on previously and was uh, quite pleased with his functional status and his, uh, his improvement. I'm 72. Uh, I felt like 102 before. Now I feel like 52. So uh, it, it does make a difference. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really, really happy I had this done.